hi it's my time to shine i will be covering the scorpio reading for december the 4th to december the 10th you are to take when it was resonate mm, couldn't even talk and need a rest this is not going to be for every Scorpio, so please don't put something to you when it's not. I hope everybody have a great holiday. At the present time, I will be doing no personal readings, cyber or in person. I will be doing no chakra clearance or readings until 2021. I'm done for the rest of the year. I will also be just doing regular readings i'll put up for emergency reading i'll take them but there'll be 150 and they'll be ready in 48 hours i will let everybody know when i will be doing personal readings as far as um cyber readings skype all of that just this all just continue for the rest of the year i have things that need to be done and i just need my energy and so I can put out what I want to put out. When I have readings to do, they got to be done at a certain time. I got to go on with somebody asking me. It's a lot. So I'm just continuing for the rest of the year. And just focus on what I want to focus on. I'm about to see your overall energy. And then we're going to start your read. This is for Scorpios. For December the 4th to the 10th, you have the Magician. You got everything to make something happen, which is a good card. Universe, spirit, guy, holy angels. What's the energy surrounding my Scorpios? Wow, they came out. I was trying to stop them, but they was like, who is you to stop us? Laugh out loud. Mm, here we go. About not closing up cycles, Scorpios. Just looking at these right here. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know. First card to have is the devil. Yes, which is Capricorn energy. I'm not sure if you're dealing with a Capricorn or your inner energy. That should pass. You got the three of wands reverse. Not making something happen. Um uh, see not seeing you not seeing your ships come in. You could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. You got the seven of swords. Somebody trying to get away with something without somebody seeing them. See that closely? Queen of Cups. Somebody want to offer somebody a cup of emotion. Could be your energy. No man. Don't matter if you're a man, a man or female. You got the three of swords. Lies, betray, heartbreak. With the two of swords. Coming up out of clarity and truth and a crossroads past near future present future and then two side cards yeah somebody trying to get away with something you could be dealing with a gemini Libra on Aquarius that's going to try to get away with something, but you might catch it. So, I'm going to go clarify because I don't know if this is a relationship, but most likely it is. So, we're going to see why the devil, what's the energy surrounding the devil right on the floor? <sighs> Y'all cars is flying. And then don't flying all over the place like it really something going on or the seven of swords could also be when you feel like somebody got away with something without you noticing it could be that too but anyway the card that flew was the ace of pentacles reverse i would say you were spending monday money Effortless, effortlessness, effortly, excuse me, uh, but uh, Scorpio stingy, so, unless it's on herself. 
So this ain't the case. I see you dealing with a Capricorn. That's what I see. What's the energy surrounding this devil? Mm, that was a lot of cards. What's the energy surrounding the devil? Universe, spirit, God, Holy Spirit. Mm. Oh, that goes with that. I want to keep them together. You got the high pretense. Everybody getting in something and hitting, or you high and something yet to be revealed. Patience going to reveal all that shit. So something's going on. I'm going to go to get one more card. Why is the devil here? What's the energy surrounding the devil? You got the world. Good luck is on your on your side. And this was your past energy. Let me find out that y'all still stressing over a Capricorn Taurus or Virgo still. Let me see what's the energy surrounding the Three of Wands. What's the energy surrounding the Three of Wands? What's the energy? Mm. Yep, partnership. Somebody coming back from your past, in other words. Or you want somebody to come back from your past, your emotions are over. you thinking about somebody from your past or your childhood. But it's an ending. It's a permanent ending. This is your sign, Scorpio, the death card. It's like an ending. So it's like, just, it is what it is. I want to clarify that death card. Well, I'm going to do the three of wands. Then I'm going to go backwards. Yeah. You got the world. It's time to close out this cycle and move ahead. Bottom line. That's what it's saying. Why is the death card here? What's the energy surrounding this death card? Universe, spirit, guys. Libra, Capricorn, or Taurus energy. Like, she's upright, so she's not happy. Or, or, or maybe she feel your energy. But it's a closing of a cycle with this empress, bottom line. What's the energy surrounding this death card? What's the energy surrounding the death card? Yeah, Knight of Rods, you want to make something happen. But you got to close that cycle. Bottom line, like that's what it's saying. I'm going to go to the Seven of Swords. What is the energy surrounding? Wow. Came sideways. The Devil card. Capricorn energy once again. You got the Capricorn in here twice. You definitely got a Capricorn in your mind. Maybe you're going to try to get away with something. Or maybe with a Capricorn, but that's not going to work. Because if you try to get away with something, Capricorn going to spot that on front and back. Or this could also be you and Devil Energy. Because there's anything, like if you obsessing over somebody or anything, that's all de Devil Energy. People not really people really don't understand what toxic energy is. Like stressing over somebody, wishing somebody come back to you. Thinking about somebody too much, thinking of sexual encounters with a person, all that is taking their energy, even though you're not around them, you're thinking of it. That's devil energy. It is. So I'm going to see again why the Seven of Swords is here. You got the hangman. It's like you coming up out of being stuck. Like you maybe you felt stuck. Like I don't know what's going on, but y'all got shit going on. It's like you're not trying to build something. You coming up out of building something. You coming up out of patience for something. Like, damn. You going through some shit. King of Rods trying to make something happen with a Capricorn. Because I'm trying to clarify Seven of Pentacles. Reverse. Maybe they not even looking your way. They not trying to build nothing with you. That's the situation. Like, wow. I seen a King of Pentacles. What's... Clarify this devil energy again. You got the import reverse. This could be your energy or Aries energy, or you just in that energy. You just in a fucked up energy. Like you gotta just close the cycle. What's the okay? Three of wands. Wait for your ships to come in. You want to make something happen. You want to offer somebody a cup of emotion. You got the three of swords. You feel like some pain. Why is the three of swords here? You got different people coming at you, and you just, maybe you don't want to deal with them. You just want to deal with this Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. What's the energy? Maybe your heart is still over that way. I don't know what you got going on. 
You got the Ace of Swords reversed. You not even cutting through something with the truth and clarity. You got that reverse. That could be an operation. Maybe your health is a little crazy because you thinking about the past too much. You got the queen of rods. You want to make something happen. Seriously, you could be in these energies. Or you could be dealing with uh, um, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Or you just in some negative energy. Like... Or maybe you got two people that you obsessing over. This is an obsessing reading. Like you obsessing over somebody. I'm, I'll keep that shit real. Let me see the two of swords. Yeah, you obsessing to somebody. Look at this shit. You got the seven of swords reverse coming up out of getting away with doing something without somebody seeing you. Then you got the page of pentacles reverse, Capricorn, Taurus reverse. And then you got the lovers reverse. Like... You got to make, maybe you, it was a split. Or maybe you got to make a decision. I don't know. But the decision is to close a cycle. Why is the Gemini energy here? Because the lovers general. Yeah, you got the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Like, it's a wrap. You're thinking about this Capricorn. Like, Capricorn all up in your reading. Like, you is obsessing over a Capricorn. You is crazy. Bottom line. I'm going to give a... Ace of Rise Reverse. There is no new beginning. There's no birth of no babies going on. There's nothing. The universe is not giving you none of that to grow anything with this Capricorn. Like, bottom line, like, yo, that's crazy. What is the energy surrounding Scorpios once again? Like, hmm. What's the energy? Love card don't even want to come out for y'all. What's the energy surrounding Scorpios? Not enough. Frustrated in relationship. Lack of confidence. Self-sabotage. Fear. Ego issue. Jealousy. Yeah, you might be jealous of this Capricorn because you're going to have her. Somebody else may do. Or him. It could be a her or him. Jealousy. Because this was reversed. So it was like, you just, you just mad. You mad as shit. I'm going to go ahead and give you... I had the angel guys. I'm going to see what the universe may got to say to you because you, you obsessing. Two cards came out. Do not live in the past. Look forward to the universe and rejoice in the journey ahead. Yes, you is still in the past about this Capricorn. What is wrong with you? You got finding a feather is a sign your guardian angels are by your side. Like, you got some shit going on. You losing your mind. You need some You need some therapy. I'm really, You need therapy and you need it fast. Because you obsessing. And that's devil energy. That's why you got the devil spice. You obsessing. Damn, another card fell. Give me a second. Ups and downs. That's what this card said. Jeez. When this, you obsessing. That shit be. It says ups and downs, changes for the best. That's the card you got. Like this shit, it was meant to be. And this card that was trying to fall says taking risks, new phrase, adventure. Like, yes, it's going to be ups and downs. Take a new phase. Move forward from this Capricorn. Like, bottom line, like you doing a lot. You obsessing. Mm-mm-mm. You might be looking on that social media or something. Or riding by that house. So you're doing something. Because you're trying to get away with it. And maybe they might catch you. Whatever you're doing. Because you got two trying to get away with cards. You got two devils. Look at this. You got two devils. Period. Like. That's crazy. And it's like somebody from your past you're thinking about. Because it's all over. Emotions all over. And it's and it's the ending. But you ain't, you ain't listening to that shit. You just bugging like, mm. Lord have mercy. You obsessing. This is for all my Scorpios from December the 4th to the 10th. Peace, light, and blessings. To all. And happy holidays. 